We begin with breaking news. Colony police confirmed to News 10 they have found the car suspected in a fatal hit and run six hours ago. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Elisa Streeter. And I'm Mark Baker. This happened around five this afternoon. A 67 year old man hit and killed. The driver sped off. Now police say they have located the car. News 10 ABC's Rachel Young Kunis is live on Williams Park Road with the latest. And Rachel, what can you tell us? That's right, Elisa. Police just tell me that they located the suspected vehicle here on Williams Park Road. They tell me they found it parked on this road unoccupied. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, so they were not able to give me any more details, but this location is just under two miles away from the crime scene. Like his cane ended up over there, broken in half. A broken cane, a single glove, only pieces left behind after someone driving down Wilkins Avenue in Colony hit and killed a 67-year-old man. That man was Rosemary Fry's uncle. She tells me they live together here right outside the crime scene. I came out here and I find his body laying there. Now they keep sectioning the whole thing off where I can't see him at all. So <laughs> I don't know. But the driver left the scene, and friends of the victim tell me they can't understand how someone could do that. At least stop. Not run. Run and hide. I mean, you're a, ca you're a coward if you got to run and hide. Police cannot confirm if speed played a factor, but neighbors living nearby tell me traffic has been an issue here recently. So they go by the stop signs. They don't really pay attention, so it's unfortunate, it really is. My heart goes out to the family. As authorities continue their investigation, the victim's family tells me they're just trying to cope with this shocking loss. I just hope he went peacefully. Now again, police tell me that they have the suspected vehicle in custody, but they could not confirm if they have any suspects in custody. The family are banding together right now, leading on one another. The cause of death is still unknown. Colony police tell me an autopsy will be performed tomorrow. Live in Colony, I'm Rachel Yankunis, News 10 ABC.